What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here. Welcome to my fourth of four videos for all the new items, for all the new armor item stuff, for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Expansion Pass DLC Pack 1 The Master Trials. That's the whole title. I checked it. Today, we are going to be looking for the green garments of a man who said that he was a fairy. And then went on to sequel in some videos about being a gigolo and dating women or something weird Japan stuff. With the DLC in your adventure log, you're gonna get a whole bunch of side quests. In fact, it, it's like it's like six or eight. There's a plethora of side quests now. And the one that we're gonna be focusing on today is the EX Treasure Fairy Clothes. So at Misko's journal, he's going to say, I hid all eight pieces of the relics I stole from the Hyrule Castle, and I wrote down their locations. By the way, he wrote down their locations. They were super vague. If you want to know the locations of all eight items and everything else DLC related wise, click the card in the top right corner right meow. Wait, no, no, don't click it. Don't click it. Watch it. And then later on at the end of the video, click the exclamation mark and then click it. Do that. Do that instead. The green garments of a man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find the places at the ruins where trade flourished, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and at the village ruins next to the farmland where many people once gathered. Now, this one actually drove me nuts a little bit. I thought it was going to be in the Hyrule Castle Town Ruins or Central Square area, the Hyrule Cathedral, and the prison. I was right for one of the three. The first one that I guessed was the Hyrule Castle Town Prison, which is located directly west of Hyrule Castle. Now, of course, when looking for these chests using the Sheikah sensor, searching for treasure chests makes your life so much easier. Also, when going through these areas, be sure to have Magnesis active so you can find the exact location of these chests. It's a whole lot more fun than if I were to show you an exact map point. The Castle Town Prison isn't that expansive of an area, and the chest isn't that hard to find. If you know that Koroxy that requires the three rusty shields, it's not far away from that at all. Open up your purple and gold chest, and you're gonna get yourself Tingle Shirt. There once was a man who claimed to be a very incarnation of a fairy. He treasured the shirt, and so will you. Kalulimpa. Our next location that we're going to be going to is right next to the Romani Ranch Ruins. Lon Lon Ranch Ruins. The Ranch Ruins. And this is going to be the Mabe Village Ruins. This one is actually pretty interesting. Misko got a little creative and this one is hidden underneath a decayed guardian. Not next to it. Not in a dirt pile next to it. Underneath the actual guardian. And I think that's pretty cool. By the way, this is on the south side of the road if that makes it a little bit easier for you. The third and final piece of Ting outfit is going to be at the exchange ruins which I guess that's where trade flourished selling me thinking it's gonna be you know Clocktown Castle where you go and you buy the damn uh, 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 rupee magic armor for you know God only knows how many rupees you sunk in in that game damn Twilight Princess this is going to be at the south side of the ruins and inside of what was one building right in the very middle of it you're gonna see a dirt pile and boom pull it out of the ground, you're gonna get yourself your third and final piece of Tingle's armor, which is going to be Tingle's hood. And that right there is going to complete the EX Treasure Fairy Clothes. This armor is some of the weakest armor in the game. It only has a power of two for all three of the pieces. It is non-upgradable, and each item gives you no bonus, but a set bonus of night speed run up. There are two other outfits in the game that give you night speed up which is going to be the Sheikah Stealth Armor and also the Dark Link Armor. Now the Dark Link Armor, as you know, requires you to defeat all of the Defined Beasts. And for the Sheikah Stealth Armor, it requires upgrade to level two. So I think this is designed for like the very beginning of the game. If you're doing hard mode or run through the game, you're gonna be able to get these three pieces of armor that could give you that night speed up and no defense whatsoever uh, before you're ready to start upgrading your actual stealth armor to level two. Now, two things. One, a lot of people thought that Tingle's outfit was going to be on the Tingle Island and the, the three islands of his three brothers right next to it, and it's not. And then also, people thought it was going to get so much fun, crazy stuff, and it didn't. You just get to run faster at night. How come there's no day speed up, huh? Or just general speed up? Or an outfit that all three of the articles give you speed up, and it's super, super fragile and weak. I think people are a little, uh, let's just say short-tempered about it. 
Guys, I want to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. If this video and these series were helpful for you, be sure to share it with a friend right up there. Boop. Be sure to click that guy. He's going to have the playlist for all the additional pieces of armor in the game. Until next time, Austin John out. Now, it's time for Trial of the Sword. Bum bum bum. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.